<laughs> All right. Confounding variables. I told you before, forks, forks, forks. <laughs> I guess you have all been reduced to forks now. A bunch of tines sitting out there. That's the way I'm going to picture you from here on out. All right, forks, how are you? Um, no, so, sorry, forkers. Uh, <laughs> oh, fork you. Uh, yeah. Watch yeah. out for the spoon. <laughs> you have to see the condom videos to get that one. Um, anyway, a confounding variable. He's the freaking enemy of science. I've told you that before, and I'll tell you that again. <laughs> because I'm honest. A freaking enemy of science, right? So, no, forking enemy. enemy. No, forking enemy, yes. <laughs> woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Um, Slap him with a spoon. Um, so, a confounding variable is an uncontrolled factor in your experiment that has an effect on your dependent variable. It, scratch that. It, it could possibly have an effect. That's why these things are such a bugger, right? Um, is because if you have a confound, you don't know if it has an effect on your independent or on your dependent variable or not. As a result, you can't claim that it, whatever effect seen was, was your independent variable. You have to assume that it might have been the confound, which is what just makes them crazy and why they're the enemy of science. Um, I shouldn't say the enemy of science. They're kind of the enemy of experimentation. Science tries to find them, hunt them out, and kill them. That's what it does. 